we're bombarded by so many messages and ads and emails and things that pop up everywhere. Sometimes the simplest thing is the most meaningful. And one of the things I actually started it at Nordstrom, although I should give my mother credit. My mother, you know, used to always say we couldn't play with the Christmas gift or spend the money until we wrote a thank you note. Nordstrom was really big on writing to our customers and thanking them for shopping with us and for giving us the opportunity to serve them. President Reagan was so good at taking pen to paper and writing to people personally. You know, I put a picture in my book and I tell the story of we're flying back on a private jet from Washington, D.C., where President Reagan has just received the Medal of Freedom. He's still wearing it around his neck. And I snapped this photo and he's sitting there at, on the plane handwriting a note card probably to President Bush to thank him for this great honor. He had an assistant. I would have been happy to you know, make that letter, type it up tomorrow when we got back to the office, but he wanted to say what he wanted to say, how he wanted to say it in a very personal way. And that meant more than anything. I also share in the book a picture of a doodle that he did one year for me for Christmas. And he had drawn a picture of a cowboy. I like to think maybe it's a self-portrait of Reagan. And he said, Merry Christmas to Peggy. And he had Mrs. Reagan and he both signed it. And when he gave it to me, it was a little apologetic saying, you know, Peggy, I wanted to do something special for you for Christmas, but you do all my shopping. So I wasn't quite sure how he could do something for you without involving you, but I made this for you and I hope you like it. There's nothing I treasure more. It's from his heart, from his pen. It's, it's so special and yet probably very simple. And I'll give you one other example. I went to an event, Pepperdine University, my alma mater was hosting Doug McMillan, the chairman and CEO of Walmart, um, spoke at this event. And he somehow, he had said something about um, Reagan in his remarks. And so afterwards, I took the time, I wrote a little handwritten note to him, sent him a copy of my book and said, you know, you might, you might enjoy this book. I know you love Reagan. We share a love of Pepperdine. I think one of his kids went there, um, but sent it off to him. Never expected to hear from him or if anything, you know, an assistant send me a note. This is a company with how many millions of employees all around the world. A couple of weeks later, I get a handwritten note card from Doug McMillan, and it says, Peggy, thank you so much for the book. Congratulations on living a life of consequence. Hmm. It has stuck with me wow. since that day. Here is this man. When people, when you write a handwritten note, yeah. people know. You can't be multitasking. I'm the queen of multitasking. You can't multitask. And for that moment, whether it was 15 seconds or two minutes, that person thought of nothing mm -hmm. and no one but you. And there is nothing actually more powerful than that. And you can call it antiquated and simple, but I've gone to so many dinners where I'm sitting between a governor and a senator and I'll drop a note into the mail right after that dinner and within five days, I've got notes from both of them. So hmm. this is really still what people at the top of the game, the top of the pyramid are doing. If you really want to live a life of consequence, using that word from Doug McMillan, um, that's a really simple thing you can do. And it'll stand out in this noise of media and digital do you remember the last person you got a handwritten note from? Right. You don't care about their stationery or their handwriting. You know how it made you feel. And so sometimes the simplest things, the easiest things, the most obvious things even are the things we don't do because we're overthinking it and trying to make it more complicated than it is. That's a human touch. That's a personal connection. That will be memorable more than any amount of emails you can send to anybody.